Hello, this is Jeff from Vocal Boost to Go, and today I want to test the producer's choice acoustic blankets for its sound blocking capacity. Now, I would be the first to tell you that blankets are not for sound blocking, they are for sound absorption. And it's a big difference because the product to block the sound have to be very heavy, very dense, like steel, like brick wall, like concrete wall, something that is totally solid, that will block the sound. Acoustic blankets are not solid, they are transparent for sound somewhat, but as the sound goes through the blanket, it vibrates the fibers, the cotton fibers, and the sound loses the energy as it passes through. So the blankets are not reflective, so they are sound absorbing. The sound barriers such as steel wall or brick wall or concrete wall, they block the sound and they reflect it, they're very reflective. The blankets do not block the sound, they absorb the sound as it passes through. That's a big difference, they're not reflective at all. They absorb the sound as it passes through. But people constantly ask, how much sound will be blocked if you put the uh, blankets across the door? And uh, I figured, you know, why don't I just show it? I'm gonna take this opportunity and design this test. So this is how the test designed. We have a vacuum cleaner to provide the noise. I have one sound meter that is outside the booth, right outside. Then I have the microphone inside the booth. And I have another sound meter. Then I have the computer that would record the sound from the microphone. And I have a camera to record what's going on. Now, there is a background noise and you probably can hear it right now because I have the fish tank with the pump, air pump blowing, and the fountain going through. I also have the refrigerator. And uh, that's the background noise. So the way the test is gonna work, uh, we first turn it off in empty room without the cover, and measure the noise inside the booth and outside. First, just the room tone, no additional noises. Then I'm gonna do the three clicks. And this is kind of the signal. The clicks create very loud noise. And after that, I will turn the vacuum cleaner. And it's gonna provide broad range, you know, white noise that would measure the um, sound. And it's more or less stable, uh, you know, across the whole experiment. So that's how it's gonna be. And then we're gonna put one curtain, and then we're gonna put the other curtain. So there's gonna be sound blocking with one blanket and sound blocking with two blankets. Again, the blankets are for sound absorption. The reason I'm using the word sound blocking is because that's what the test is designed for, okay? Okay, let's see what happens. 